guys, it's Stacy, and so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit and share with you the five things. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. The five things that I did that helped me to lose 40 pounds and to keep it off two years later. Now, a little disclaimer here I'm still about 10 pounds away from being where I really need to be in my BMI, according to the BMI chart. But I am actually pretty happy with where I am right now. My waist is in the 35 inches. You know, it's right at 35 <laughs> inches. I feel good about where I am. The number one thing that I did to lose 40 pounds was I talked to my doctor. When I was pregnant with my first daughter, my middle child, I developed gestational diabetes. And after I gave birth, it went away. It was gone, it was magical. And so I proceeded to Coca-Cola my way into oblivion. <laughs> so I was drinking soda and eating all the sugar cause I got a big old sugar tooth. Hey, it's that one right there. But I mean, I just, Ooh, I love sugar. I just, <sighs> so I ate a lot of sugar. Thinking, ah, oh, that was just because I was pregnant. It'll not happen again. Got pregnant with my third child, my second daughter. I came back. And this time, I went back after I gave birth to, you know, get checked out again. And I still had it. It was, my A1C was still, it was a seven point something. So in addition to that, I had low thyroid. And all of this together was really the low thyroid and the diabetes was really making me feel pretty horrible. And I was holding on to a lot of extra weight just because I wasn't taking care of myself. There were all these physical symptoms that I just didn't recognize, I guess because I had been pregnant for so long. I was used to feeling kind of horrible all the time. I got on medication and let me tell you, like two months into it, night and day, I felt so much better. Before I started on my medication, at about five or six o'clock, I just felt horrible. I had headache, and fatigue, and I was like done for the day. But Josie, and especially Charlie, I mean, they need a mom there to take care of them at night, and I just couldn't do it. So I went and saw my doctor. Number one, see your doctor, because it makes a big difference. All right, number two, I focus on what I can eat. I try to eat five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. And you know what? That is not easy. <laughs> it is not easy. I wouldn't naturally be like, mm, I want a snack. I'm gonna go eat some vegetables, you know? But if I'm like, oh, I gotta get my one more vegetable in, I can do that right now. Then it makes it easier to say no to like chips and, you know, crackers and donuts, and bread, toast with jam, bread and butter, candy, Reese cups, Snicker bars. Mm. If I have eaten all the fruits and vegetables I'm supposed to in a day, I'm full of vitamins and nutrition and water too, because those things have a lot of water that fill you up, then it's easier for me to say no. I mean, now, I don't cut anything out. I don't say I can never have anything again. Um, what I do is cut back. And by that, I mean, I won't buy a big bag of Snicker bars anymore to have around for the kids or anything. I just won't buy that and keep it in my house. But I will buy a Snicker bar and have a Snicker bar one night and then not feel like I have to eat the whole bag of Snicker bars. How many times can I say Snicker bar? <laughs> All right, guys, number three. Number three, woo! That is to not make exercise too complicated. Now this is, was probably the biggest change for me, but it was an easy change. So what, it, what I mean by that is move your body through space, okay? Don't feel like you have to get a gym membership. Don't feel like you have to start running. If you're going from a very sedentary lifestyle to trying to be more active, 
and you jump in with this high lofty goal and after two weeks you're like I'm not doing that anymore I can't do all that you know I don't have enough willpower to do that I think that's what got me here in the first place right lack of willpower so I need things I can actually do so moving your body through space for me walking 10,000 steps every day I put my Fitbit on my ankle <laughs> I wear mine on my ankle because when I wear it on my wrist and I would go to like Walmart or Target or wherever and I'd push a cart, it wouldn't count as accurately. I'd be in there for like two hours and I'd come out and it said I'd only have like 700 steps and I was like, what? Because I know I walked around that whole store like six times. Found it like, <laughs> oh, forgot something back here. And I get a lot of steps doing that kind of stuff. So I wear my Fitbit on my ankle so every step counts. And all the other day, I was like mowing the yard and all this stuff. And I realized I forgot to put my Fitbit on in the morning. It's like two o'clock. I was like, I wasn't wearing my Fitbit. Did it even happen? <gasps> oh, it's heartbreaking. But so I ended up that day with like 7,000 stuff. I'm sorry, I'm on a tangent here. Anyway, just focus on moving your body through space. Don't focus so much on trying to, I'm going to get healthy. So I'm going to start running two miles every day or whatever. Um, if you feel like you can do that and stick to it, great. If you tried it before and failed, just lower it a little bit to something that you think you'll actually stick with. That's what I did. And it worked. It worked. It so worked for me. So now I love it. I got a goal. It's enough to keep me from sitting on the couch all day, <laughs> but it's something that I can attain. It's something that I can actually do. Now I'm also cognizant of getting up and moving with the girls sometimes because there are times when you know you just gotta put on some descendants and dance together and it's fun and it's good and it, it's you know dancing like that doesn't feel like exercise even though when you're done you're like <sighs> but it's a lot of fun so yes move that body move it through space keep going don't sit down Number four, don't drink your carbs. In other words, for me, when I have a soda, I only have about four ounces. It's like all that I can drink before it's like gonna, I know that my body's like, hey, what's going on? What are you doing to me here? I can drink more than that before I actually start feeling bad noticeably, but that's because I'm diet controlled and medicated. So that helps a lot. I don't feel symptoms, um, but at the same time, I'm trying not to abuse my body too much since I'm getting older. You guys, I'm gonna be 40. I'm gonna be 40 in November. I'm middle-aged. I'm a middle-aged woman. I just don't feel like a middle-aged woman. Sorry, tangent. Um, so yeah, don't drink your carbs, you know? Save that for something really good. Now, if there's a time like you've been outside playing and running, I don't know. I don't know why I talk like I'm 12, but you've been outside doing, or I don't know, whatever adults do that's equivalent to playing in the heat. You've been outside working on the yard and you come inside. Somebody's made of some fried fish or something. I don't know. I like fried fish. If you don't, insert one of your favorite foods. And you're like, you know what would be really good with this? Some ice cold Coca-Cola. Over some ice? A lot of ice involved, I know. Oh, then have it. I quit buying them. We don't have them. I don't drink them that often. I'm not saying never drink it again, but just very moderately. It tastes even better. Have you noticed that when you drink a soda every day, after a while you're like, ugh, so syrupy and ugh, but you're still drinking it. You still can't stop. <laughs> but if you do it every once in a while, tastes so good oh my goodness it is just a little piece of nostalgia summertime heaven number five Whew. it's called front loading this is a technique that i actually learned from a weight loss pro program uh, called hmr that my mother-in-law my husband's mom worked for and it's called front loading oh my goodness life changer Front loading, the idea is if you're going to go out to dinner, if you're going to go to a party, if you're going to go somewhere where you think you're going to be tempted to eat a bunch of stuff you shouldn't eat, then you front load before you go. Meaning, before we go, 
I'm gonna have a big salad. I'm gonna eat before we go eat. I'm gonna eat a big salad so that when we sit down in the restaurant, I'm not gonna be like, hey, bread basket. You know, I can be like, one piece of bread, good. It gives your willpower a fighting chance. This is a game changer, okay? This is life changing. It's hard to do at first because you're thinking, these are calories I'm taking. I'm trying to cut back on the calories. But the idea is that you eat, you fill up with a low calorie food. And then when you go to the dinner, you don't eat near as much. <laughs> the volume that you do eat at the dinner is far less and you end up consuming a lot less calories. So front loading, man, it is the jam. Try it, try it. I think it's amazing. Such a good little tool to have in your weight loss toolbox. So that's it guys. That's what I did. I lost 40 pounds and two years later, I haven't gained it back. I still do these things. There's things that I have made actually everyday life changes. Every single day I do these things. I mean, except front loading, that's for like special occasions. But other than that, every day, it's good stuff. All right, that's it. So thanks for joining me guys. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you next time. Love you guys so much, bye.